Hi, my name's Mike. Hi, I'm Summer and we're from Kokoda Caravans. And we were just driving along the Great Ocean Road behind us and Mike saw this beautiful hilltop and he wondered if we could get to it with our Kokoda Caravan and we did. So Mike's going to tell you more about the van that we brought up here today. Today we've got the Platoon 2, which is a couple's van for off-grid, off-road use. It's really capable, it's got lots of space inside, there's lots of features about this van we're going to show you today. It's really great for all the holidays you may want to do in future. And look at the view that it takes you to. So now we're inside the bedroom of our Platoon 2 and you can see a nice spacious Queen Island bed lifts up lots of storage there. Speaking of storage, on the left hand side, wardrobe, same as on the right, bedside storage for your books, drawers and a cupboard. Above the bed, three spacious cupboards with concealed handles, makes it look really clean. Plenty of space. Behind the bed on the headboard, we've got two reading lights. Both have got USB ports and they're two-way lights. You can get a blue light or the bright white, which you see. The blue light's great for when it's nighttime and you don't want to bother your partner. And two niches on either side of the bed for storage for your books, your iPhone, that have got points for 240 and 12 volts. More features of our beautiful bedroom. Overhead the bed, you've got a gorgeous hatch, great for stargazing, or if you need to get some sleep, you can simply close off those blinds and get the shut eye. So you can see right now I'm getting this amazing breeze from the ocean in beautiful Apollo Bay. Our windows are double glazed, really great. And when you're enjoying your nice breeze, you might not want to enjoy the bugs that come with it. Easy fix. Pull down screens. Maybe you want to continue to block that light out. Complete block out as well. If you're not going to get the breeze we've got right now, we've optioned on our van some Sirocco fans. Great to keep that breeze moving. Next to our fans, and convenient for the bed when you want to have a night in and maybe just catch up on a movie you haven't seen for a while, you can mount your 24-inch TV on our bracket here. Also conveniently located next to our bed is your air conditioning remote control. This is great for the nights when you want to get a bit more cool or a bit more heat. Bel Air Hot and heats and cools this fan incredibly well when you're plugged into 240. Now if you're not plugged into 240, you can option to upgrade to a lithium system and get an inverter that'll run all the appliances that you need. So in the kitchen of the platoon too, you're going to notice plenty of space. Overhead, incredibly spacious cupboards. I like this because you can fit a lot of plates, a lot of glasses, and not feel like you're scrimping. And same with the drawers. Lots of space and they've got shell lock handles on them, which means it's not going to open up when you're traveling and spill your stuff everywhere. Below the sink, again, stacks of storage. One thing that I like is the sink has got a drain tray, which means when I'm doing my dishes, I'm not making a mess of the bench. Moving on down here, we've got our cooking area. So you've got one electric cooktop and three gas burners. Below that, a gas mini grill and a gas oven. Sometimes the weather's not great outside and you want to cook breakfast inside. And honestly, who wouldn't want to cook breakfast in here? you but in the mornings I love my cup of coffee this is a great place to enjoy it in the mornings we've got a nice cafe setting here this is standard in our vans the cafe dinette now this is a trifold table which means at nighttime you can open it out and play that game of cards that you want to play as always in our vans more storage so below the table we've got a cupboard there and overhead again more storage and when that's not enough keep in mind we've also got storage below both of our seatings in the cafe setting I know I keep going on about storage, but it's really important when you're camping. The one thing you'll notice, we've got a really big fridge in here. It's a 188 liter three-way fridge, which means you can run it on 240 when you're plugged into the mains, your 12 volt or gas. Super convenient to have those options. I want you to check out inside because you're gonna be impressed. Stacks of space for a freezer. Plenty of room for your goods in the fridge. And when you couple that with putting in a 50 liter fridge in the toolbox, that's a lot of cold storage. Next to the fridge is a really great pantry. Overhead, some really deep shelving. And down below, I love this. Another shelf, but a really cool feature is this pull-out pantry. It's a really great space to put your cans or your sauces that you don't want rolling around. Simply tucks back in, 
pretty cool, huh? Above the fridge for thawing meats or when you want to cook a quick meal, we've got a microwave that runs on 240. Here we are at the entry of the Platoon 2. For ease of use, we've got our radio and entertainment system here. Now there's two speakers inside and two speakers outside. So the radio is also Bluetooth. The other really cool thing is it's dual zone, which means you can play the radio inside or outside. And behind me, for all your maps of Australia, we've got a nice magazine pocket here. Apart from the fridge being really easy to access from the entry of the van, so is the ensuite, which is great for your guests to pop in and use a loo when they need to. So as a standard, we've got our cassette toilet. Next to it though, again, I know I go on about storage, but we've got lots of it. Really spacious linen cupboard. And below it, a cubby for your toilet paper, towels, anything else you want to pop there. Ventilation is not a problem in this ensuite. We've got a window behind the toilet, but above it also, we've got a vent with a fan. This is a really great multi-purpose bathroom. So we've got a lot of bench space, and that's provided because underneath this bench space, we've got a two and a half kilo washing machine, and again, more storage underneath the sink. Overhead again, more storage. So in the ensuite across from the toilet, we've got our shower. It's a really good space here to give you plenty of space on the toilet. In the shower, we've got an overhead light, a ventilation system, and a removable rose for the shower. Great for hosing yourself off. Now what feeds this shower is two 95 liter tanks when you're not on mains. Well, now that I've shown you the inside of our platoon too, I think I'm gonna grab Mike and have him talk some tech and specs with you and tell you more about this van. So we're at the front of the Platoon 2 and we're going to show you all about the A-frame and the features here. Right up the very front, attaching to your car, we've got the DI35 hitch. The code provide the pin, this is attached to your tow ball and we'll help you with that or if you freight will. So you've backed your car underneath, we'll lower the van down onto it, the pin comes through, put your red button and that's it, it's latched on, we're ready to go. Ease of putting it on is very, very good. Anyone that's used a tow ball will understand it perfectly. It's not technical to use. It also articulates in multiple different directions. So if, you know, in the case of the van did roll on its side, it will not roll the car as well. It's a hitch that works really well in off-road environments. We have rated chains, two of those to attach to your car, and a breakaway will also attach. So what this does is if the van were to come away from the car, this pin pulls out and it applies the brakes on the caravan to stop the van from running down the road. We've also got um, plugs. You're gonna need a 12 pin plug. That'll need to be wired by your auto elect if you don't have it already. This van's been optioned on with a reverse camera. So that's the dedicated lead for that. And we've also got the Anderson plug. This provides power to your battery from your car while you're driving along to make sure that it's all topped up. We've got a 90 degree jockey wheel. This means that the handle's not bailing on your stone guard. The stone guard's provided on all vans. This, the purpose of this is as you're traveling down dirt roads, stones coming off the back wheels of your car don't hit your caravan and damage the front of it. It's really good protection. Over the back of the stone guard, we've got a tray in the bottom of the A-frame. This gives really good space to put sullage hoses, um, things that are dirty. I often put uh, firewood in, those, in that stone tray as I'm traveling into a campsite. It'd be really, really handy. Two nine kilo bottles mounted either side of that stone guard. Then we've got our toolbox which is on um, across the front of the van. On this side, it is for the generator. So it's a large, large box, uh, has a slide out tray. Uh, this will take a three and a half kVA generator that'll power your whole van, including your aircon. And we've also got a tap on this side of the van um, to provide water to the front. Going around to the other side where summer is, we've got another box, same size. This slide is for your fridge. It'll take a, up to a 50 litre fridge. Again, it has a slide and it has 12 volt power in there so that all the um, fridge is self-contained in that box. Starting at the front of the awning side of our van, we've got a large and spacious tunnel boot. And if you're lucky, you're gonna get the same view that I've got when you look through it. Continuing from there, just below the tunnel boot, we've got a gas bayonet to connect your barbecue. Above that, we've got a full-size awning to protect you from the elements. We've got two outdoor waterproof speakers and two bright LED lights for when you're entertaining at nighttime. A nice picnic table that folds up for convenience along with your entertainment center where you can mount your 24-inch TV on the bracket, plug into your outlet, or connect to your aerial and a 12-volt point. Further down, we've got a very, very handy light-up light to get you into your van in the nighttime. All of the doors under Kokoda are a three-way door. 
really convenient because you can open them, separate them, for when you want to have access to, to your van with just your screen with fly wire on it, really good security screen. You've got privacy uh, curtains up there, and you simply just close your van back off. Okay, so now we're on the non-awning side of the van at the front. This is your other side of the tunnel boot, so it goes all the way through. Here we've got our 240 power inlet, so when you're in a caravan park, you plug that in, or your generator, or whatever you'd like to run the van on. We've got a hot water service. This is the venting for the outside to run on gas and stuff, so your hot water service is in behind there. And underneath, you've got your two batteries. This will take 100 amp AGM batteries, or some lithium if you upgrade that. Walking further down the van, we've got our two filler points, as uh, Summer mentioned, to our 95 litre water tanks underneath. Further down, we've got our toilet cassette. Um, so this is uh, how the cassette works. So we open the door, we can remove the cassette, and for the funnest job, off we go. So here we are at the back of our Platoon 2. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice some really cool standard features. We've got two 20 liter jerry can holders, next to our two full-size spare tires. Above the full-size spare tire, we've chosen to option on a reverse camera for this van, which is fabulous when you're towing a van this big. So the Platoon 2 is made here in Australia, and we make the chassis here in Victoria. We've got a really strong, robust chassis for Australian conditions. The A-frame's made of a six-inch tall material that's Duragel, uh, so that means it's galvanised inside and out, and then it's welded construction, painted with a high zinc primer, and then silver over the top. It's really durable, really good um, rust protection. Uh, it's, as we work our way back, the actual chassis itself is on six inches of steel as well, so that's the RHS tube height. We've got lots of gusseting in that transition between the A-frame and the body, which makes for a strong, uh, durable caravan. As we work further down the van, we've got the suspension, really part, uh, important part of any off-road van or any uh, van traveling down the road. This van uses Elko cross-country suspension. Elko is an Australian-made suspension and very high quality. We're using a 15-inch rim, off-road tires, 10-inch brake, and a single shock per trailing arm. There is a 50-inch razor that helps with height of that van traveling down the road or your off-road terrain. Uh, again, a very, very strong chassis for all environments in Australia. So the Platoon 2 is constructed of Maranti. That's what makes the frame of the caravan. We're cladding the bottom all the way around with checker plate, and that's for like armor and stuff like that, so it's really durable and strong. The top, the silver part, is a composite material that's bonded to the surface of the Maranti frame. The roof is a sheet metal, uh, which is nice and light and adds the payload of that caravan. We don't put composite on the roof. Underneath with the water tanks, we're using sheet metal to shield that. All the plumbing is tucked up right underneath the van for protection. This construction method as a whole is really, really good for interchange environments. It's light, it's strong, and it has a longevity. This van, like all our Kokodas, are off-grid capable and come with a BM Pro HA2 Lithium Ready Charging Unit along with a Mini Boost, which boosts your 12 volt charging capacity. Over here, we have a really handy display screen which allows you to monitor your water tank and solar input levels, along with turning on your water pump and the power throughout the van. Another convenient feature is the battery level indicator which predicts how many hours of usage you have left based on the amount of power being drawn at that time. So I hope you've enjoyed the Platoon 2. It's a 19 foot 6 couples van. It's really good for off-grid, off-road. It's uh, accessible, it's really well appointed. It's got everything you're going to need. If you've got any questions, please visit us at www.kokotacaravans.com.au.